Good morning. It's Wednesday. Oh dear. It's 6.30. I've not gone to the gym this morning. I had a bit of a lie-in. I'm not sleeping too well again. I'm sort of like... I've had a few nights over the last couple of weeks where I've been waking up like throughout the night and then I think my body's got into a bit of a routine of waking up during the night. So I'm not sleeping too well, hence why my eyes look like this this morning. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to be comfortable today for work. I'm not going to be sort of like doing myself up or anything because I've just basically got to write a strategy all day. Yeah, let's get ready for Wednesday. Oh, and welcome back to the vlog. I've just done it again. I've just done like a whole segment and I wasn't recording. Anyway, what I basically said was I want to get to the office for half seven, get started on this strategy. The earlier I get started on these things, the better, because that's when my brain, believe it or not, is um, at its best, is like first thing in the morning, particularly like strategically and for copy and things like that, um, gets a little bit more content good in the afternoon. So yeah, go to the office. It's going to be quite quiet. I think it's just me, Lois and George today um, because everyone else is on holiday or working from home. Let's go. I can't believe I didn't record that. Right then, just got to the office. Tad later than... I would like to have, but I just popped into Waitrose to get a few bits to go with my lunch. I've got a tuna pasta salad that I made last night. So I thought I'd show you my little Waitrose haul. I'm going to be one of those guys. I thought I'd show you what I got. Um, I bought myself some tangerines um, because apparently these are a green food for me on my um, supply life plan, but I've not had them since I did the test. I'm high, highly intolerant to oranges, but apparently fine with tangerines. So I'm going to have one with my porridge this morning and see how I go. Um, got some hummus, because I've got some carrots in the fridge that need eating. I'll have some carrots and hummus as a snack. Got some gluten-free oat cakes, um, also a good snack for me. These are literally just gluten-free oats, palm fruit oil, sustainable palm fruit oil, sea salt and raisin agents. And then I got myself some of the super beet kimchi by... Vadas. Um, I love this stuff. I put it in my salads quite a lot. Um, it is beetroot, red cabbage, carrot, water, apple, spring onion, sea salt, garlic, ginger and chilli powder. It's really nice. Got a bit of a kick to it, but it really adds good flavour to your salads, particularly if you're trying to be healthy. Um, and um, yeah, the kimchi is just really good for your gut. So get some. Um, yeah, that's it. That's my Waitrose haul. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea, make my porridge, plug in, and um, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to crack on. So just to give you a bit of a picture of where I'm at with this strategy. So I've got to the stage where I now need to start fleshing out the content. So what are the types of content that we would recommend they post, share, send to their audiences? Um, I'll also start to include some example pieces. Um, so yeah, just starting to really paint a picture of what their actual day-to-day -day marketing content should, in an ideal world, look like. So I'm going to plug in. I want to try and get, it's nearly eight o'clock. I want to try and get a solid like three hours done. Um, I will have breaks um, within that, but I want to see where I can get to by 11 o'clock. So that's when I'm going to update you. Well, hello. I've just got back to the office. I said I'd update you at 11, didn't I? And I didn't. Rude. I did my gym session at lunchtime today because when the alarm went off this morning, guys and girls, I'm not going to lie, it was a big, fat no from me. Half five, I was like, no. Um, still not sleeping great. I'm waking up like, is this a sign of getting older? I'm waking up like needing to go for a wee. Now, I am trying to drink more water and stuff, but guys and girls, that's not fun at two in the morning. I'm not a fan. Normally, I just like sleep through once I'm asleep and if I'm sleeping well. Um, but yeah, so I did my lunchtime session. I've got a quick meeting now. Well, it's not going to be quick, actually. That's a lie. I've got a meeting for a couple of hours now with Lois to go through this strategy that we're working on. because She's going to be the account manager for the account. Um, I'm going to eat my lunch while I do that because running out of time. Um, so yeah, let's go back up to the office and see the gang. George in the house. 
looking, I don't know how to describe, you look like very coordinated and I feel like you're gonna rap at me. Oh. Rap, George. Do you know who I was thinking of? Blazing Squad. Blazing Squad. Have, have you heard you of Blazing Squad? It's going on with Marcel and his wife, Rebecca. Don't even know who they are. Marcel. Was he in Blazing Squad? Squad? Oh, in the what? Yeah, tell don't like to talk about it, do you? Don't like to talk about it, but every five minutes I was in the Blazing Squad. Not allowed to talk about it. He was saying, I don't want to talk about it, but I was in the Blazing Squad, Blazing Squad, Blazing Squad. Yeah, myself. No. Nikki, you've not been, you've not been in the vlog yet. What was for lunch? I've got mine now. Oh, I was a pig today. Were you? I spoiled myself. I had pasta with masala sauce hey? and chicken. I know. It looked good. Like a pasta curry. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Weird, huh? Oh, I can, I could get down with a pasta curry right now, I reckon. It was lovely. Me and Lo have got strategising to do. Oh, good luck. Ain't we, Lo? Ain't we? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> right, it's time to show Lois. The, I only said the client name then. Naughty. Um, to show Lois the strategy that we're working on. I say we, that I've been working she. on. <laughs> she has. What do you mean? You just haven't found the style that you like on it? Have you tried yeah. the calligraphy one? I think my, yeah, oh gosh, that one you use. Yeah, I know. But I think, is it my, my, does yours look like that? Yeah, although you, you must apply a lot of pressure. You must. No, mine's not that bad. <laughs> Remarkable. You need I mean, to release hardware and nibs for people like that. For those that fight, like, pressure down on the paper, but... Like, squall in their notes. By the way, I'm sat at Georgia's desk to do this, and Georgia has this thing on her desk. It's adorable. It's like a little Pantone calendar, and basically you can change the colour to what mood you're in. I'm going to say today I'm a super lemon. What are you, Lois? Let me find a thing for you. We've got Abbey Stone, we've got Pink, we've got Baleen Blue, Artisan's Gold, After Dark, Ocean Wave. You are a bit like an ocean wave. Do you know wave. what? Out of them, that was the only one that you... I don't know where it's gone now, but yeah. Very cute. I like this little accessory of George's. You could have national delivery regional approach, so we'd, whilst we deliver around the UK... She said, oh, just, can you tell me, my name's Hannah Brady. <laughs> I don't even know what you just did. Was there a hair flick? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So I'll write those, I'll write those. Mm -hmm. Why are you reversing it? Oh, you want to go straight? Sorry, sorry. Shall I put the camera down and help? This is not good. <laughs> Welcome to Brady's Garages. Day in the life. We will jumpstart your car whenever you need us to. We absolutely won't. And the power steering had gone off. <laughs> so it was like turning a fucking lead I'm bus. Okay. I'm cold, Alex, I'm off. Yeah. Okay. We'll do anything for our team. We will, we'll do anything for them. I've never used jump cables. Alright. So I've got enough reach. If not. Got if enough what? Reach. It should be fine. If not, you'll just have to move it closer. Okay, yeah. George is feeling confident. I've never done this before, so I have no idea. Um, I'm looking more dishevelled by the minute. It's actually pretty cold. Um, I've, put a, I've put a timer on, so apparently you connect the... If anyone who's not done this before, let's give you a little tutorial as we go. So you connect the leads, and then you put a timer on for two minutes. Then I have to start my car, and I have to run my car for three minutes to charge George's car, and then George's car should start. 20 seconds left, and then I'm going to start my car. If my car blows up, it's been great knowing you. If I blow up in my car in the Granary car park and it's on local Northampton news, the mic is to blame. There's the timer. We must go. Just confirming. George is such a videographer. He just shut the door for, so that I got better audio. It's like, let me just shut the door so you got better audio. I haven't blown up. I'm alive. My car has been... So this is like the most exciting thing that's happened all week. <laughs> 
<laughs> me helping George start his car. Lois is watching from the window. It's like a lip read from a thousand miles away. <laughs> For that V10. 600 horsepower. <laughs> so, is 600 horsepower like the power of 600 horses? <laughs> Or have I just asked the stupidest question? I see your point. That's the question for you all on this this week's vlog. Does 600 horsepower mean the power is equal to the power of 600 horses? <laughs> Jeremy Clarkson, let me know. <laughs> Jezza, never mind your fucking farm. What does horsepower mean? Here we go. Has it worked? Stop it, there we go. And she's yeah. fixed. Okay. Well. Forget Bob the Builder. That power steering, bloody hell. That I've done I've done a leg workout and an arm workout today. Anyway, right, it's ten to five. Forty minutes to get some stuff done. It's back to strategy, 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 strategy. Strategy. How long do you keep that going? Strategy. Strategy. What Strategy feels alright. Yeah, there you go. Right, anyway, bye. It's home time, people. It is ten to six. Um, I'm just packing my desk up. I'm going to pop home, get my washing out, do a couple of bits, and then I'm going to go back to the gym for a steam. I thought I'd show you myself packing up. Riveting, absolutely riveting content. I have spread out over the desks today, which I have a tendency to do. She lay on. I forgot to show you this this morning, actually. This is a vintage find. Super dry. 10 quid. I think it's an absolute bargain. I love it. Um, you lot might think I look like a complete plonker, but guess what? I don't care. Oh, I'll get a career in fashion modelling in no time. Make a cup of tea in the kitchen. Kitchen, kitchen. It's dark, I'm not putting the light on. Um, yeah. Oh, what a day. Another day. Another day, another dollar. In this lovely pad that we call home. A little bit messy at the moment, not going to lie. I think we're going to have to have a bit of a tidy up. But yeah, this is home for the Brady Bunch. Little blue wool, bean bag. I do love it here. I do love our office. Um, yeah. Anyway, just waffling on at you, you poor, poor people. Let's go home. Let's go home. I'm off to see my friend Ellie today. Um, I don't get to see her very often because we don't live very close to each other. She lives in Bristol. I live in Northampton, so we're a good two and a half three hours away from each other. Um, so yeah, she's actually expecting her first baby. So um, I think she's due in, I'm gonna get this very wrong, so, sorry Ellie, like a month. Um, I haven't seen her since she was about three, four months pregnant. So she's probably gonna look very different today since I last saw her. Um, but we're going to go um, for lunch. We're meeting halfway. Um, I've got a little gift for her that Mum has made, which I'll show you um, in a minute. And then when I come back this afternoon, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to get my workout done. I've got to put your sun cream on, guys. I only started putting SPF on my face every day probably about a year ago because the more I read about it, the more I was like, OK. And I'm someone who likes the sun. So I will have my face out in the sun, but we don't want to be damaging our skin, really. I'm at that point in my life where I'd happily have less of a tan and have better skin. Never, ever, ever thought I'd say that. I've always been like, get me as brown as you possibly can. <laughs> but I'd rather have good skin and less of a tan. Look at it. She's honestly so clever. So I don't know if you can see all that clearly, but you've got like little booties around the edge that she's knitted. And then my auntie has made this little, is it a lamb? I think it's a lamb. 
the lamb on the top and then all the booties that my mum have made around the outside. And then inside has got like all sorts of different baby clothes that my mum's knitted. Honestly, it's just beautiful. Very, very talented. And I have to say, not a talent that has passed down. If you need me to knit you a baby kit, don't bother because it will look terrible. Um, right, I need to crack on. It is 10 past 11, I need to go in five minutes. So shoes on, coat on, off we go. Hello from Stowe on the Wold, which is where it turns out I was meeting Ellie earlier. I'm terrible. I'm one of these people that's like, right, this is the pub where we're eating. Just put the postcode of the pub in and go. Um, didn't really have any idea. I knew it was in like Gloucestershire, but had no idea of where I was actually going this morning when I set off in the car. It was a beautiful drive. If I get the chance to pull over and show you like some of the um the views on the way home if it takes me the same way back then i will because it was beautiful it took me like all through um the villages and the countryside which was lovely and it's a beautiful day so um yeah just had a lovely lunch um had a really good catch up we don't see each other very often i think last saw each other like december time um so yeah it's been a little while we tend to see each other when we're on form maybe like once twice a year if we're lucky but yeah next time i see her she's going to be a mum I mean, she already is a mum, but next time I see her, she's going to have the baby, which is just bonkers. Um, we've done the classic, like, what do I think she's having? Personally, I think she's having a girl. I'm just going to put that on record in case I'm right. Um, but yeah, really lovely to see her. Lovely lunch. Um, now we're going to drive home. It took me about an hour and a half to get here. So um, I listened to a Mel Robbins podcast on the way home. I've got another episode that I'm going to listen to um, on the way here. Sorry. I've got another episode that I'm going to listen to on the way home. Um, I'm going to go straight to the gym, do my workout, and then go home and put the masters on. Because that's how rock and roll we are, people. Okay, we did it. We are back in the Shire. It's about half five, I think. Um, I've just pulled up at the gym. Now that I'm here, can I be bothered to go in and do the workout? No. Can I be bothered to get out of the car, get changed, just generally get the energy to do this full full body session as well that I'm supposed to be doing? No. Am I going to do it anyway? Absolutely. Because I'll feel better. I'm probably going to go and have like a steam. Might sit near the outdoor pool for a bit because it's nice and warm. Um, we'll see. I'm going in. I'm getting it done by hook or by crook um and then i'm actually going to edit the vlog tonight while i watch the masters let's go do my workout <laughs> it is sunday and i just realized that i haven't actually got like a closing for the vlog and i haven't yet given you my marketing advice for the week and i'm going to stick to a theme that i posted about on my linkedin in the week which is brand and it, for those of you who've seen it, I talked earlier in the week about how I see a lot of people putting their brand, their brand new shiny brand, into the hands of people who aren't qualified to manage it. So if you're a business or a person who is looking at reworking your brand or creating a brand from scratch and you're going to invest in working with professionals to develop that brand, one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give you is be very mindful of who you give your brand to after that process to take it forward and if you are going to give it to somebody or give the responsibility to somebody who you fundamentally know isn't qualified so what tends to happen is junior marketers get given it or marketers with no brand experience get given it and they are then supposedly supposed to be responsible for using that branding graphics in event collateral on websites across all sorts of different mediums and because they don't have design background they very quickly ruin the desired perception of that brand so a couple of things really if you're going to put your brand into the hands of someone who's not qualified number one invest in some training some appropriate training for that person so that they know how to handle a brand so that they know not to stretch your logo so that they know um, formatting to use when putting designs together number two don't give it to someone who's not qualified if you can um, and keep it in the hands of a professional because the short term and long term losses of your brand not being put across properly 
far outweigh the savings that you will make by giving it to somebody in-house and not having to pay for a professional. Um, so yeah, that's my advice of the week. Put your brand in the hands of someone who knows what they're doing with it, or if you're not going to, get some training for the person who you are giving the responsibility to. Um, yeah. Other than that, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Um, it's a little bit shorter this week, I think, which I don't think is a bad thing. It's been easier to edit, that's for sure. Plans for today. I'm going to go for a little run, I think, just a little very slow jog around the block. Might be meeting Lucienne and her son, Jax, for lunch. Might be popping in to see my friend Chloe and her two boys. Um, yeah, just a slow, chilled Sunday. And then, of course, it's Master's Sunday, so I'll be watching that later. Who? will be the victor this year. Hard to call at the moment, hard to call. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Hope you've had a great week and I'll see you next Sunday.